Hi, I'm Alexis Sigler from Living Energy Farm. We're a community of people who live off-grid, and we want to talk about batteries. The way normal off-grid systems are designed is that the solar companies give you a worksheet. It's based on your predicted household energy use. You figure out how much energy you need in your house, and then you can figure out how big of a battery set you need. We feel like this is a very, very bad approach. Without any daylight drive or thermal storage, the average American home uses a lot of electricity. If you use the normal off-grid approach, you are led to believe that you need a really big set of batteries. Lead acid batteries cost about a third as much as lithium or nickel iron batteries, so almost everyone uses lead acid batteries. But we found that after four or five years, lead acid batteries start to deteriorate very badly. As the voltage drops on the conventional lead acid battery system, the inverter will turn off all at once, and everything turns off all at once. When we began Living Energy Farm, we started with a medium-sized lead acid battery set. Within a few years, that is, lead acid batteries were deteriorating. We couldn't even keep the lights on in a single building. Another problem is that lead acid batteries are made of sulfuric acid and lead. They are very, very toxic. Modern lithium batteries cost about three times as much as lead acid batteries. The manufacturers say they will last 10 years, but your cell phone and your laptop, those have lithium batteries. How long do those batteries last? With a conventional off-grid system, you draw the power down in your system, you can't turn on the lights, you can't take a shower, your computer will not work, your refrigerator will not work. Most people use generators for backup power, but they're expensive and they're noisy. If you ever tried to start a generator in the middle of a cold winter night, it's miserable, no fun at all. At Living Energy Farm, we've changed our relationship with energy. Because of our daylight drive systems and our thermal storage, we've reduced the size of our battery bank about 90%. We use our main battery bank only for keeping the lights on. We purchased a set of nickel iron batteries right here after our lead acid batteries failed. They performed miraculously. After seven years, they show no signs of fatigue whatsoever. Just this past winter, we went through two months with almost no sun, persistent clouds. Our lights never faded. We do not have to worry about maintaining voltage the way you would with an inverter and an AC system. Nickel iron batteries can tolerate huge voltage swings that would destroy any other battery system. No other type of battery is as durable as nickel iron batteries. With every other battery, you damage the battery each time you charge it and discharge it. Nickel iron batteries are the only battery ever developed that does not degrade with each charge cycle. Thomas Edison developed nickel iron batteries and sold millions of them. They were commonly used 50 years ago. This is one of Edison's original batteries right here. It has his name scratched in the metal, and miraculously, it still works. Living Energy Farm is building our community to provide energy independence for ourselves and our families. We're expanding our initiative to provide daylight drive to low-income communities around the world. If you would like to know more about our community or to partner with us to expand our mission, please check our website and join our email list.